What's up guys, GT here. So most of us do not have an expression pedal handy with us at all times. And honestly, without an expression pedal, doing something like a wah in the XFX2 can get really tricky because you can't control the knobs with your hands because you're playing the guitar. That's where an auto wah can really come handy. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use the XFX2 to create an auto wah sort of an effect. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's kick it off. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've got a war block inserted before the amp block over here, and it's set to the crybabe effect type. It doesn't matter what effect type you use. What you are interested in controlling and automating is the control knob over here. It's set to zero at the moment, so you're not going to get any of those beautiful war sort of an effects that you're looking for from the war pedal unless you move this with your mouse or with your you know keyboard, but you can't do that since you're playing. So the first thing you want to do is go into the controllers here what are controllers? These are like global modifiers which are always running and are always available in any preset. So what you want to do is go and apply an LFO to the auto walk control knob. What is an LFO? LFO is a low frequency oscillator. So think about something which is oscillating up and down between two values. Now what you want to do first thing is set the LFO tempo. You can set it to taste. I like to set it to around one fourth of a dot for this example. It doesn't really matter what you set it to. My tempo is set to 100 BPM. The other really important thing you want to do here, and this is really important, is that you set the LFO depth to 100%. For some reason, mine was set to 0%. And if it's set to 0% for you, keep in mind that the LFO is not going to work. So the LFO depth is like the amount. So if the amount is 0%, it's not going to work. Once you set the LFO depth, go back into your WAW block and right click in the center over here in that link icon and select the source as LFO 1A. The moment you do that, you will see that this value is now oscillating up and down. And if you close this, you will see that the volume, the control knob is now oscillating up and down based on that LFO that you selected. And now if you play something, you will get that auto pause effect in the playing. <laughs> So that's how you do an auto war in the XFX2. You can pretty much use the LFO to control any knob in the XFX2 as long as it has that link icon in the center. It's a pretty interesting thing to do. Give it a try. Follow for more tips and let me know in the comments down below what other things you would like me to cover in the two minutes series. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, make sure you stay safe. Keep rocking. Cheers, guys.